This video is going to give you a good idea about what to expect when taking the motorcycle skills test at your local DMV office in North Carolina. Fearless! All of the skills I was tested on are available in the motorcyclist handbook and can be downloaded from the DMV website. Flip to the end of the book to see an example of the skills test. Now that you know what to practice, here's a list of things you need to take to the DMV office. A DOT approved helmet, your motorcycle learner's permit, and proof of insurance. Now just get yourself over to the DMV. Once the agent verifies your information, he'll tell you to head on out to the course. The first test is about motorcycle control, so he'll have you point out where the clutch lever is, the front brake, the rear brake, the gear shifter, high beams, turn signals, horn, and electric start button. He may even ask if you have a fuel shutoff, which of course if you have fuel injection you don't. The next test is an intentional stall, which kind of simulates uh, moving in slow traffic, stalling the bike, and then restarting the bike as fast as possible. So basically just pull your clutch in, hold the front brake, hold the rear brake, no gas, just pop the clutch out and it'll intentionally stall, pull the clutch in, hit the electric start, start the bike up as fast as possible. Next, the agent shows me his uh, clipboard, which has a paper on it. And basically all of the skills tests that are on that paper are exactly like the ones that are in the motorcyclist handbook. The agent then explains the next test to me. It shows me on this pad, which is the serpentine test. He wants me to start out by keeping the cone to my right weave in and out, go around, turn around at the end, keep the cone on my right again, weave back through the cones. One odd thing he did say was take as much room as possible to turn around. He said even if you had to put your feet down and back the motorcycle up, you could turn around like that, which was just mind blowing to me because I always assume you have to turn as tight as possible anyhow. The next test is the shift test. There is a cone on the right about a third of the way up and another on the right about two thirds of the way up. So up shift at the first cone, down shift at the second cone, turn around and do the same thing coming back. I am a dirt bike rider, so I am an aggressive shifter. Anybody that's ever hit neutral in the air, you know what I'm talking about, so make it happen. Okay, explains the next test, which is called the slow ride test. So what I have to do is ride to the end, turn around, come back, and at least 30 seconds must have elapsed off of the clock. So he has a timer, and when he says go, he starts the timer, and you must ride slow enough such that that timer says more than 30 seconds when you get back to him. Now I'm gonna let this play out here. I think mine was close to a minute when I got back to him. And he asked me, did I have any idea about how fast I was going? I told him I was trying to go as slow as possible and I really wasn't counting. But uh, if you want to give yourself a better chance here, uh, drag your brake. That's all you got to do. Drag your brake and clutch control. That'll get you way past 30 seconds. Just be careful not to put your feet down because he will dock you points for that. By the way, I did not ride my motorcycle to the DMV office. I actually put it in the back of the van and unloaded it in the DMV parking lot and warmed it up before I went in to uh, start the test. So you can uh, you can get there however you want, just as long as you have a good working motorcycle with insurance and you know you have all your safety equipment with you. Keep that in mind. I, and the reason I did that is because I'm mostly a dirt rider and I have you know knobby tires on. So tires are expensive and uh, I like to keep them off the highway as much as possible. This next test is called the pause and go test and it is to simulate stop and go traffic. So I am to ride up to the cones on my right, brake, pause, don't put your foot down, continue to the next cone, brake, pause, turn around and do the same technique coming back down. He also got a bonus pause from me here, this third cone, which is not really one of the cones, but I did it anyhow. On this last test, I am to upshift at the first cone, downshift at the second cone, throw up a right turn signal using hand signals, turn around and ride as fast as possible back toward the instructor, wait for his command, and then stop as quick as possible without wheel skid. That concluded the test, so we headed back into the DMV office where I was issued my license with motorcycle endorsement.